Hello everybody. Hey, it's Ken Faulkner. Uh, gonna do a little different video because this one's not really so much about knives as about what we have to store our knives in when we're collecting. Uh, anybody who has a decent sized collection knows that uh, it can be a challenge to find ways to store them. <clears throat> so I thought it might be good to share with you what I've got. Um, there's many different ways to store them. Um, some people just use drawers. Some people make have those really fancy like plexiglass cases. Don't have any of those myself. I tend to go with these Apache cases like this. Uh, but I also have a lot of different things. I'm really zoomed out because this this case is pretty big. I can't remember what number it is, but I'll I'll find out. I got a couple of these. I'm not going to show you the inside of this one yet. We'll save that for the end of the, of the video, but I'm going to go um, to some of the smaller uh, storage uh, options I have. So I'm going to be pausing in between as I shift from one to the next, but I'm going to go grab uh, a little smaller one here for you to check out. Hang on. So here we go. We got, uh, when I first started collecting knives, um, I was putting them in like little, little, uh, knife roll type things like this you can get some of these I, I got this one for free at uh, blade show they had a little party that we nice was doing they had some kind of like gift bags and this is one of the items that was in there this is actually one of the first one I bought this one I think I got it at blade HQ or somewhere I'm not sure where but this is one of the first ones I had and, and so when I first started collecting knives they could actually fit in here. Um, we got some lower spots here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is up to ten knives. So when you're just starting out, maybe you got ten knives, maybe you got six or seven knives, you can actually fit them in here. Maybe you have a couple of them that are sitting out, you know, but storing the ones that you're not actually carrying that day. Maybe this is what you're going to end up using. Uh, I tend to kind of use this now more for traveling. That's why I don't really have anything in it right now. So if I'm going to go to, like, say, Blade Show, um, I'm going to be flying. Uh, I'm in Southern California. We don't really have anything local that I could drive to. Uh, I did have the California Custom Knife Show that I would go to, so that was nice and easy, but just driving. But flying normally, uh, I'll, I'll use a roll like this, and I'll pick how many knives I want to bring and I'll uh, put it in my suitcase and check it check that bag uh, I made the mistake of almost uh, carrying a knife well I did carry a knife in a backpack going trying to go through TSA not realizing that knife was still in there boy that was a bad experience so I'm always very cautious about that now after uh, getting through that but that turned out okay so no no worries there um, you get some of these ones that are free so here's a this one from Wee Sabivi, and this may be for um, maybe a shorter trip. Um, got six knives here, pretty small collection if you can fit them in there. Nothing against a uh, small collection, but mine's definitely gotten bigger than this, and you'll kind of see that as we go. And then here's a little Kaiser one. You get these for free for a lot of different reasons. Um, I actually have one that I'm putting together in the giveaway that I'm, I'm going to be doing for 600 subs, and that's coming up pretty darn soon. And this is an even smaller one. Uh, right now, I got some pins in here. You know, if you start collecting knives, you may end up starting to collect pins. These are just like some tactical types that I've collected over a period of time. And you got to find places to put all these things. And uh, so this one only has like three spots. And then there's a little small one for maybe a little flashlight. This guy's a real small little cheapy flashlight to keep in here. So, uh, you know, I found uses for this one and other ones like it. Um, another small one that I, I use, I think I've shown this one before, is the Kaiser uh, uh, Towser K with the Serape. Came with a really nice one, so I, I take advantage of that, and I put some, some slip joints in there. So I don't have a lot of slip joints, so it's not as hard to um, to store those. They're smaller as well. I, I have a bunch of them that are in, like, little, uh, you know, got the Jack Wolves and things and slips. And I just have those in a drawer here, 
at my uh, table, my desk that I work uh, my videos on for now. The uh, the dream is to eventually move into the spare bedroom and set up a nice desk with, and just have everything in there. Get it out of the way. Girlfriend doesn't have to stumble over it. Uh, I'm doing this video because uh, I was going to do it last weekend and I've had all these uh, storage things sitting out. And the girlfriend said, you know, you got to get this uh, stuff out of the living room. We got to get, the, get uh, our living room back. This thing has like a little back to the carrying. It's got this little denim patch so if you want to take that off and put it on something out else it's kind of cool a little leather patch but anyway so like i said i got one of these that's brand new that's uh, going to go in that giveaway we'll be talking about that a little bit later and then i got this one and i talked about this one from uh stella stella's knife and obsession hang on a sec i'm gonna grab it no need to pause for this one but this is, and they have bigger ones than this. I've seen ones that you uh, would actually hang on a door. And maybe one of you guys has one of those. Uh, and they they can hold, like, I don't know, lots and lots. Maybe 50 knives or something like that. This one's pretty cool, though. I like, uh, this is a Vostede. One's leather. Got these cool straps. Uh some of the the uh, the slots in here aren't really big enough. Some of them are kind of small. I can only fit a finger in there, but flashlights could fit in there. I don't have a huge flashlight collection, so I don't really have those all filled. But I do have some knives in here. I'm a little disorganized on my knives. I have to admit it. Um, I take them out, use them, and I don't always put them back neatly. And then every once in a while, I have to go through and kind of reorganize everything. Um, so I got uh, some Spyderco. Got Spyderco in there. Got a. So this, they're not really grouped, other than these are ones that I have been. And you can see that they're a little bit hard to get out. A Chavez. These are ones that I've been using a little more recently and just kind of put away because this was easy and convenient. Got a Kubi. So really no rhyme or reason to this so, so much. Damn design. These are just, this is kind of a catch-all for my laziness. There's a Tucson there. There's an 80-20.5. And this guy is, this is a little uh, JS WS. I used to carry this in my car until I won the, a knife from uh, Tennis School of Fish. And, and I got this one. Uh, it was it was in my car and that I replaced was replaced by the one that I've won from Tim's School of Fish. So so I do have things like a couple knives in the car, a couple knives here, a couple knives there. They're all over the place. But uh, anyway, so this is kind of like the catch all for recent use. So now I'm going to get into the vault cases. Hang on. All right, here we go. Obviously, uh, I've become a fan of these vault cases. Uh, I started out with this one. This was the first one I bought. Got this at Blade Show last year. And this one I got from my girlfriend. Um, and then I got this one at Blade Show West this year. Because I liked this one so much, but I found out I liked it so much that I couldn't fit as many knives as I wanted to. And you can see the thickness difference between the two. Uh, I don't know the, the model number. I know that this was the TSA approved one and you can see it's got the lock on it with a combination. I never really have a use the lock, but you can do that. Um, TSA approved. So if you have it in your suitcase, uh, they can get into it, but somebody else getting in there couldn't get into it. So, uh, that is an option. Uh, bought this one when I bought this one because, uh, if I bought these two, I got a free knife, so I ended up buying. I knew that uh, my girlfriend had this one that was good, so I picked up a green one. Uh, so let's take a look inside of one of these things. Now, right now, I got a few slip joints in here. Like I said, I don't have a lot of slip joints, but it, it does kind of overflow. Some of them are in that Kaiser uh, Towser cave uh, case. Some of them are here. Uh, this is a Kershaw. And this is more of a, a double detent. So it's a double detent knife. That's my only double detent I have. Maybe you got a Rosecraft here. 
and we got a Rough Rider here, which is really a locking knife, so I don't know if you, you can't really call it a slip joint per se, but uh, it's definitely more of a traditional type. So yeah, you can carry easily four knives in here, and uh, they fit quite well. Uh, and this one, this is the one that my girlfriend uses, and she started with this one, but fortunately she's uh, getting more into it. So you can see she's got a lot of cloths and things in here. Got a cool Hank. She likes cats. So you got this cool Forest Hanks that I bought for her with the Halloween theme and the black cats. And she's got some, she's got a drop bear in here, a little keychain thing. Here's her little uh, Pochi uh, from Spider Co. Very cool little knife. Fits in there nicely. Uh, so you, you just find different, you got some Damasil band aids. <laughs> Those are great. I've never actually, I don't think I've actually used one. They're too pretty to use as a Band-Aid. But, you know, if you get if you get down to it and you need a Band-Aid and that's all you got, you're going to use it. And then she's got a couple of the, this one is a uh, one of the Blade HQ uh, Dessert Warrior. It's the, uh, um, what's it? everybody knows what this blade is and I can't think of the name. So I'll probably just put the name up there on uh, in text up above here. Uh, or I'll think of it while I'm doing this because that's the uh, Elementum. That's what it is. Everybody knows what it was or it is. But my brain sometimes is like those, um, you know, when you got the lottery going and there's all these balls floating around in this big glass ball. And then all of a sudden the little number ball comes out. That's how my memory is sometimes. It's all in there. It's just bouncing around. And sometimes it doesn't come out when it needs to come out. This is a Christmas crispy donut community hansen so that's her knife so she's got a few knives in here but like i said she's gotten more so she uh she had to expand so when i bought this this one here she ended up taking over this one here so um can't remember exactly how many probably somewhere around 10 spots in here so like I said, this one's a little bit thinner. It's kind of nice. Kind of looks like a, almost like a carbon fiber uh, sort of outside. Obviously not carbon fiber, but kind of looks like it. But yeah, when I bought this, this was pretty cool. It's got the tall, the little small uh, mollies. So there's the uh, the little baby banter there. This was a training knife. Uh, uh, it's a, based on a, a Kershaw, um, but it's a trainer so that. Her and I can can work uh, some knife fighting training, and you got the holes on there to know. You, you show before you start the training. You say, "Okay, I make sure I don't have a live knife." So we each have one of these. So she keeps it in here. Uh, down here, another cloth. I think she likes to keep it, keep it from scratching. She's got some nice ones here. That's a, a can step, uh, a Spyderco. This one is an Asher Knives. This is a, which one is this? I think this must be something that she, oh yeah, um, she won this one, um, Arson Cutlery. She won this one, she was willing to give it to me, but I already have uh, a version of this that's a little bit more fancy. So uh, it's part of her collection. And then she's got her little um, Otter Knife. I've shown that in the video before. So, anyway, she's still got a little bit of room for some more knives. And I'm sure that when we go to Blade Show, she's going to go with me this year. Again, like last year. She'll probably pick up something. And then, we're getting into this one. Now, I've, I've already shown this. When I did the, the knife meetup, and I haven't really changed it since then. So, I really won't go through all the knives that are in here. But, you, you got this... A small molly that's similar to what we saw in some of these other ones. I'd really like to switch that out for something that looks more like this. But I don't know if it comes with the Velcro attachment, so I'm gonna have to take a look. But anyway, you can see six knives across here. These all Velcro in, so you can replace it with different size mollies or uh, other types of things. This one's kind of built in, doesn't really come out. But I like this one because you can really get some big knives in here. And so I got five across there. And then down here, I, right now I got six. 
and it's larger mollies, which is are better to me than these small ones up here. But they all they all work. Um, so maybe I'll switch out some of those. These are also the Velcro type, and see what else I can get to throw in here. So there we go with the cases, the rolls. I may have missed something because it's just once you get in this large collection, it gets a little out of hand. Now I'm getting into the big boys. So hang on a minute. I'm going to clear this stuff out of the way and bring up the Apache cases.